that he's going to train with Eddie Reynoso. So he's an interesting one to follow as well. Okay, now middleweight is my wide open division, and I think my underdogs are actually my favorites. I actually like Troy Isley and Ashish Kamir out of this division coming out, but Galeb, Bakashi, and Alexander, oh, I can't even say the Ukrainian's last name, those are kind of my favorites, but they're very amateur style to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I just like a dog coming out of this race. I don't mind Bakshi, Gleb Bakshi from Russia. I actually don't mind him. I think that I get what you're saying about uh, Alexander Kizniak, who he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a smash and bang kind of guy that I think is suited by that bruising style in three round amateur fights. I think in a 10, 12 round professional fight, he might get exposed because he's too hittable. He reminds me a bit of, uh, uh, who's, who's the Ukrainian kid who was on the contender. He was a, he was a very, very good amateur, Kitrov. but just hasn't, uh, Kitrov. Yeah. Kitrov. That's one. Yeah. I think, it's got a little bit of that Kitrov syndrome. Uh, so I think that, you know, again, I look at Kisniak as a good barometer for the rest of the talent. I think you, you, you mentioned Isley at the Pens. He's had the two pro fights. I don't know how far out he knew that he was going to be allocated this Olympic spot or if it was just a few months ago. So how does he adjust? But, you know, I think that he's definitely a it's right draw. Amir Marcial's had the one pro fight. I know he from the Philippines. I know he didn't look great in the one pro fight, but he was the silver medal plus the worlds. He's got to be in with a shot. Arman Kul from Kazakhstan, very, very solid fighter. I think that he's another one to keep an eye on for the pros. I'll tell you another kid I really like. Wait, might not do anything at these championships. Actually, two. I'm giving away half my scouting now. So it's okay. I don't, I don't think my rivals will be listening. But uh, even if they are, it is what it is. But Yuri Sedeno from the Dominican Republic, I think, is a really good fighter. I think that he's a kid that can be at least a, a top 10 contender as a professional. The other one, you know, a lot of people know Wilfred Say, Wilfred Nsengi Say from Cameroon. He's a, he's a kid. I think he's like 4-0 and as a pro, but he fights – with the flair or like an Emmanuel Augustus. So, you know, the drunken master style fighting, but the kid that beat him at the African qualifiers, um, David Sharma from Congo, I think could be a really good pro. He actually, he turned pro in a, in a 12 round fight. You don't see that often, you know, you have one fight, 12, scheduled 12 rounder. I think that he's one to keep an eye on. And the Japanese kid at the weight as well, uh, Morawaki, I think as well, just being home Olympics. I don't think he'll replicate the feat at this weight of Murata and win a gold medal, but I think that 